T-Mobile is one of the largest mobile phone and data companies in the U.S. They have a giant flagship store in San Francisco. It's two stories tall, and it's about 17,000 square feet. It's huge! Well, it was. It's now closed. The flagship store just shut its doors forever. This is not a unique story. Many businesses are closing, and you can see it everywhere. Now, this store was in San Francisco, so it was probably crime or skyrocketing taxes that made it impossible to keep the business open. But it was probably the crime. I mean, shoplifting is essentially legal in California, as everyone knows. Earlier this year, Nordstrom also left San Francisco, and it closed both of its stores. CVS has closed many stores. Even Whole Foods and Amazon Go have decided they can't run a business there. But even though California is a really hard place to run a business, this problem is spreading with Bidenomics, inflation is starting to take a bite from everyone's wallet. Best Buy is on death's door, and so is Bed Bath & Beyond. Oh, come on, even Burger King is closing 500 stores this year. Used car dealerships are getting hit really hard, too. I'd be shocked, literally surprised, if Carvana and CarMax can make it much longer. Now, all of this is bad news, and you can see it with your own eyes. But there's one thing that I absolutely can't understand. It's so frustrating. Joe Biden just came out the other day and said that the unemployment numbers are at an all-time low. Everyone who wants a job can have one. His employment numbers are better than Trump, Obama, and even Bush combined. Jobs for everyone. But the confusing part is, how can that be true when so many businesses are closing and firing all the workers? I mean, Facebook Meta just fired 15,000 people. Twitter fired 90% of its staff. Google just cut almost 20,000. The list goes on and on and on. Everyone is dropping employees and laying off staff. I know what I can see with my own eyes. But Joe Biden is telling me to stop trusting my own lying eyes and believe the numbers that he tells me. Oh, <laughs> okay, Joe. But it just doesn't seem right. Is anyone else believing this nonsense? I mean, you can see it with your own eyes. But Joe says the country is better than ever. When it looks like shit and smells like shit, I'm not stepping in it. Joe is full of shit, and I just don't believe him. I think I'll stick to believing my own lying eyes. Hey, do me a favor. I haven't had a single new subscriber in about a month. YouTube apparently doesn't like my brand of storytelling. So do me a solid and do the button click thing and help me out a bit. I got more stories coming later, so I'll see you soon.